Here's America's pastime. We'll see the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Kansas City Royals. It's the MLB on 2K Sports. And it's baseball from Kauffman Stadium. A glimpse of the beautiful waterfall, just part of the great view here at this field. The home field advantage goes to a pitcher's yard today. We're in Kansas City with the Royals. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Kruk. We get ready for the first week of MLB on 2K Sports. And the starter for Kansas City, Steve, as he gets into this Angels lineup, what's he looking at? A good looking lefty on the mound right here against the lineup that can put some runs up on the board. So pretty even matchup. So it's going to come down to which side executes better than the other. Oftentimes we say good pitching can beat good hitting. Now uh, the starting lineup, Mike Sosha's offense looks like this. Uh, some kind of offense right here. Star-studded lineup and really great length and depth with guys that really can put the ball in play. Number three hitter up. He'll be starting us off here as we get this ball game underway. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Here's the pitch. Called strike outside corner. Quickly in the hole now, 0 2. When in doubt, go down and away. He throws the slider exactly where he wants to. Tough pitch to hit. Line shot into center field. And the leadoff man's on board. You love the offense when it gets going that way. Now we'll take a quick look at the Royals and how they line up defensively. John, no scouting anyone here? Well, Carlos Beltran's a guy that you just love to watch play the outfield position. Has such great long strides. He covers so much ground in such a short period of time. Really helps the pitching staff a lot by making those plays in the gap. It's going to be Gritch. Yesterday, the Angels taking the loss. That's now nine in a row they've lost. Boy, this is a tough stretch. Oh, and I tell you what, things just aren't going the way of this team right now. No one out and a runner on first. Pitch on the way. And he lays one down here. Brett, that'll be the game's first out. That's old school baseball right there. You have to do the little things right. He gets the high pitch down on the ground and advances the runner with the sacrifice. Just got to make sure, Steve, you don't get that bat under the ball. Get on top of it, and he did. That's how you manufacture runs. Vaughn into the batter's box. Now, 2010, a struggle. First time in a long time. The Angels have not had a winning record against the Central Division. They lack power. Man on second, one away. Oh Slider my. misses badly with it, 1-0. Oh. You know, uh, looking at what you were talking about with the Angels Central Division, 19-26, and 26, Steve. Well, you know, the Tigers had a pretty good team last year, and the Angels 4-6 and six against them. They did beat up on Kansas oh. City. They just struggled against the rest of the division. Lined right at the second baseman. One on to second. Safe there, so they get the one out. That's an atom ball right there. That ball was smoke. He stung it, but right at the second baseman. Salmon gets a shot here. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Oh. Change up just misses. One and oh. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. On the way. He lets the 1-0 pitch go by, 1-1. Well, that's a pitch a lot of guys can do some damage on, but unfortunately, the pitcher gets the strike. The hitter couldn't swing the bat. Here's the 1-1 pitch. 1-1, a slider that misses, 2-1. The 2-1 pitch, fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call, though, and it's 3-1. and one. 
Well, anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Swing, and that's going to be hit behind the plate. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And the sinker swung on and missed. Side retired. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. Let's look at the Kansas City Bats. We will when we come back. It's going to be Wilson now. He'll lead off the home half of the first. And the first pitch. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Here's the delivery. One and Missed one. badly with a change there. One and one. Well, that's where you look for a changeup from the pitcher away in the strike zone. And if they look for it and get it, they can really shoot that thing the other way and do some damage. Ball and that's taken outside for a ball two. One strike count. Two one on the way. Strike fastball two. called strike two. Now that he's elevated his eyes looking for that high fastball, let's see if he goes back down in the zone. This wow. one's grounded foul wide of first. You're Big out. swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Well, he had a swing at it. Two strikes, ball up and away. A good pitch to at least put in play or foul off, but couldn't quite catch up to it. The Royals lineup looks like this. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, you got to take a look at Carlos Beltran. I mean, here's a guy that can hit from both sides of the plate. He hits in the middle of the lineup where he's expected to produce runs, but he also plays a position that he's expected to take runs away, and that's what he's done throughout his career. One of the best players going in baseball. Base is empty with one away. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Now it's two down. You got a chance to check out the Angels. Let's see where they're positioning themselves on defense. That's two to struggle defensively as you take a look at the number of errors that they've made last in the division overall. So it's been a major problem in comparison to the teams they're competing against most closely. Two outs and nobody on. The pitch swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Doesn't get the call on the slider. 1 and 1. So if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Outside for a ball, and it's two and one. Two one pitch. Roll for a ball, and he'll be in the driver's seat. Three and one. Flat fastball right there. Just missed. Just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Up the middle it goes. Gritch throws on to first in time to retire the side. And a good half inning there, gone in short order in this one. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. Garrett Anderson to lead off. He's averaged 298 lifetime against the Royals. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Well, he gets the breaking ball right over the heart of the plate. He must have been looking for something else.
And here's the pitch. Strike that two. is a strike 0 and 2. Garrett Anderson, he'll protect. Now, coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So, got to be seeing the ball pretty well. You're out. Strike three, Garrett Anderson right through it on that swing. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively. Two consecutive punch outs. On tap for the Royals. They wrap up this Los Angeles series tomorrow. They'll go up against the White Sox for a little division rival reaction. That's a team in a little bit of a slump lately. That'll be Tuesday and Wednesday. Then they kick off the road series with the Detroit Tigers. Boy, there's some great competition in that set of games. One out, nobody on. Line drive fouled off towards oh. first. Here it comes. Strike and two. a strike two. Gloss is going to have to be careful. The hitter's got to protect the outer part of the plate right here down 0-2. Good slider that time. Ruled the ball. One and two. I went for the backdoor slider right there, but he laid off the pitch. Good eye. The one-two on its way. You're out. Oh, Troy Gloss looks at strike three. He's gone. K-Cam registers this at 86 miles per hour. Some pretty good break. That pitch certainly not lacking movement, John. Well, it's controlled movement, and that's why he's able to throw it so effectively to catch guys looking like he did in that at bat. And Benji Molina up. 250 is average last season against the Royals. Base is empty with two outs. This foul. one's grounded near third. Foul. Here's the delivery. Strike two. Strike two, and Molina will be careful here to protect. Molina, the ground ball. Sights her. And they'll record the out at first base. Good timing on that play. They might not have been able to get him out of the plate, but a short run over to the first, and he still retires his minute. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. Shutout baseball in Kansas City. Cleanup batter, do up next. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crock bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. First pitch is a change up low, 1 0. Smash towards the middle, Rich. So Beltron is retired. And there's going to be more baseball next Thursday. Going to be Chase Utley and the Philadelphia Phillies. They'll be playing host to the visiting New York Mets. That will kick off at 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay, that's going to be a great matchup, and everybody's going to want to tune into that one. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be Jackson now. It seems like they've gone through three or four different rebuilding phases in Kansas City trying to turn things around, but it seems like in the end, they always end up at the bottom of the division looking up, trying to figure out what they're going to do next. Really lets it rip on that one, but starts off with a strike. And the Royals with the uh, tough streak that they are in right now, ending up near the bottom, there just never is any balance there. You'll get a couple of bright spots, either offensively or pitching-wise, and it's never... Drilled towards the hole. That one's caught. Here's a look at the State Farm leaderboard. The players with the most triples last year. Carl Crawford, number one. Orlando Hudson is second. Evan Longoria third. Adam Jones fourth. 
Also in the top five, Kevin Euclid. I'll tell you what, speed puts so much pressure on the defense, and these guys can certainly do that as they force the other team to quickly make decisions and make plays and try to shut down a running game. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now, great work by the pitcher there. He's normally not called about to play first base. He does a nice job completing the task and getting the out. Quick half inning there. It's over. Five pitches. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. And Edmonds settles in. Lifetime. He's got a uh, 285 average off Kansas City. Here's the pitch. Ball. Sinker just missed. 1-0. Oh. Well, to be successful, you've got to keep the ball in the ballpark. And to be successful, have hitters hit it on the ground. That's what his sinker ball does. Ball. Slider just misses the black. Falls behind 2-0. and oh. And that sinker ball will keep a pitcher out of trouble. Keep it out of the air. You got a chance to get out. Well, it's all about movement. He's got great movement on that pitch. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ground ball towards the second baseman. He's out. One away. Well, let's take a look at the Angels and where they ended up last year rank wise in the American League. Seventh in home runs, seventh in stolen bases, and they were in the top 10 in doubles. Driving the ball out to the wall, playing a lot of wall ball last year, showing that speed coming out of the batter's box and taking the extra bases. Nobody on base, one away. This one's grounded wow. near third, oh. foul. That one's hit to the right. Way down there, but that's going to be a long foul ball. Oh. Good sinker that time, but it's ruled a ball. One and two. Well, it's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. The one-two pitch. Won't offer at the change, and it's two and two. The pitch. Three and Sinker two. misses, and it's full. Three and two. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. Here's the payoff pitch. You're out. Slider in there and gets him looking two down. That went in on the hitter's hands. He realized he had no chance. He would have just broken his bat if he swung at it. Number nine spot at the plate again. Base hit is last time. Two outs, base is empty. Now the first pitch. First pitch is a sinker, too low, 1-0. Pitch a sinker swung on and missed one and one. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. Here's the one one. Strike Good two. time to call for that changeup. One and two. One-two pitch coming. 
Hold two. And he watches that one travel down. Two and two. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. He delivers. And oh. this is bounced foul to the left side. Slider just about had him. 3-2 count. That's a tough pitch for a hitter. That breaking ball that he's bearing toward the back foot. Tough to lay off. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Oh. Look at the lifetime numbers. He's 260 against the Angels. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Oh. Damon will foul that one away. Fastball oh. oh. gets away from him there, 2-1. A swing line to left center. That's in for Kansas City. The season's still fresh. Here's what the Angels have coming up. Final game with Kansas City is tomorrow. And they'll be taking on the Rays, led by MVP, maybe, Kevin Longoria. Great series there. That'll get underway on Thursday night. And then a home series facing the Jays and their all-star Vernon Wells. A team that will be looking to bounce back after some recently poor showings. White at the plate. He's got his first look in this one. Damon's a runner at first base. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. Take something off that time in control with the count now 0 and 2. Oh, Pitch wow. out. Nothing was on though. The one two on its way. Change up, misses. Two and two. Fastball in there, called third strike. One out. Well, they climbed the ladder with the fastball, and he just couldn't catch up to that high heater. I'll take a look at the Kansas City Royals rankings last year in the American League. Second in batting average, second best in base hits. They also showed up in the top five in triples, and that's a real credit to their hitting and base running. Aggressiveness coming out of the batter's box. One out, runner on at first. Pitch on the way. That's at the knees for a called strike. When you throw that breaking ball, you want to throw it down in the zone to get the hitter to chase or just get the bottom of the zone for a strike. That's what he did. Oh Missed badly with a fastball there, one and one. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though, two and one. Here's the 2-1. Oh. Fastball gets away from him there, and it's 3-1. and one. 
Well, even though you're 3-1 and one in the count, you still have to be patient at the plate. Make him throw a quality pitch. If he does, be ready for it. And if you're the pitcher, you better not throw anything down the middle and hope he's taking it because he can take you out of the yard. That misses ball four. Now we're going to see if we'll get some motion on the base pass. Well, good discipline by the hitter to lay off the high pitch and take his base. Here's a look at the teams who got it done last year at the plate. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Rangers. The Royals in second. The Twins third. The Tigers fourth. And it's the Red Sox number five. One of the top hitting teams in baseball last year will be on display in this game today. And these guys, when they step out of the dugout, they're swinging the bats. These guys can put the ball in play and they all hit for a high average. Low for ball one. Here's a spin and a throw back to second. At the belt, the 1-0. Called strike on the outside corner, and it's 1-1. One one. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Missed with the fastball outside, 2-1. and one. Well, it's not going to surprise you at all if they put the runner in motion. Good speed on the bases, ahead in the count. Great time to make something happen. The 2-1 pitch. 2-1 pitch, a fastball, outside, 3-1. Here's a strike, lunged for that bunt and missed it. And here's the 3 2. Swung on, and that's foul back. The 3-2 pitch. And another foul ball. The at-bat gets extended. He threw a great fastball right there. Had it in a pretty good spot. But the hitter fouled it off to keep alive. Another foul ball as Wilson steps in again. The 3-2 pitch. You're Fastball up. in there. Struck him out of number two. I'll tell you what, it's straight, but it's hard. 98 miles per hour. Nice-looking strikeout pitch high up in the zone, just frozen. Well, it might have been up in the zone, Gary, but when you have two strikes on, you better take your chances and swing the bat. Two down. Runners at first and second. The first pitch. Ball. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Here's the 1-0. A line drive towards short. That one's grabbed. Side retired. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave two on. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. It's going to be Gritch. He'll start things off here, inning number four. First pitch, a sinker in there, 0 and 1. But Gary, they really can't seem to mount any offense at all. I mean, one hit through four innings, and you, know, you really have to look at your approach at the plate. Here's the pitch. Lays off the change up. Good pitch, but it's one and one. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. 
Jackson able to glide over. Not much of a problem on that one. Uh, he's got everything working for him right now. Every pitch he's throwing for a strike. And that's nine in a row that he's set down. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And it's going to be Beltron. And he gets over and grabs it with the level. Well, I followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. Salmon settles in. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Base is empty and two down. He deals ball off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. Now the 1-0 pitch towards center field. That one gets through for a base hit. And that's going to bring Garrett Anderson to the plate. Oh, I love being able to get hits with two outs. Even if there's no one on base and you don't drive in any runs, what it does is, though, it prolongs the inning and it makes the opposing pitcher work harder and can possibly get him out of the game earlier. Runner on first, two away. Here's the pitch. First pitch is a slider low, 1-0. It's now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. That's a good fastball right there. He blew that one right by him. Swing and a miss on the slider. One and two. The one-two pitch. Ball and two. Garrett Anderson looks at that one for a ball to even it up. That is a called third strike to Garrett Anderson. No runs with a base hit. They leave one man on at first. The Angels still looking for a run. It's going to be Brett. He'll lead it off here. Bottom half of the fourth. And the first pitch. Swings and misses at the fastball. 0-1. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. Oh, one fastball and a called strike. Well, the hitter must have thought that was either going to go too far out of the zone or too high. He takes the pitch, but it's a strike. Here's the delivery. Ball! Tried to get him to chase the slider, but it's one and two. Now, if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. A swing and a foul off to the right side. One-two pitch coming. And that's another foul ball. Well, you know the pitcher wanted that strikeout right there. He threw a great pitch on the inside part of the plate. Thought he had him set up to go there, but a defensive swing keeps this at-bat going. Swing and a rocket towards short. And he throws on to first for the out, put away. He could make a video on how to field his position. He gets over, makes it look easy, solid fundamentals out at first base. And it's Carlos Beltran at the plate. Well, in a lost season, really, for Beltran. Only played in 64 games. Here's a guy that when he plays his normal 140, 150 games, puts up monster numbers, just wasn't able to perform in 2010. 
Base is empty, one out. And the first pitch. Straight Fastball one. swung out and missed, 0 1. Why, well, uh, for Beltran, he missed most of that season with a knee surgery and then decided they needed to shut it down when it kept uh, swelling up on him. That's a tough year. And I think the big question is, you know, power stems from strength in the legs. And I think there's some real questions. What kind of power numbers he's still going to have? And he did not cover ground in the outfield nearly like he had before in center field. The pitch. Foul. It's hit foul by Beltron. And Beltron strikes out. He couldn't make contact with that. I'll tell you what, it's straight, but it's hard. 98 miles per hour. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end. Bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Base is empty with two out. Here's the first one. Oh. Change up. This is badly. 1-0. Oh. Well, that's a tough pitch right there to lay off of. That change up down and away and out of the strike zone. But the hitter must have been looking for it because he wasn't fooled at all. The 1-0 oh now. Oh. Hit foul by Jackson. Line towards second. That's caught. Side is retired. And they're held in check here in this half inning. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. We'll have the six, seven, and eight hitters coming up next. And it's Troy Gloss now to lead it off. And Steve, after that last play, he immediately went straight to his arm. That is not a good sign. Over nine at-bats last year, he had only one hit off the Royals. Wilson will field as he retreats back for it and gets the out. Now this ball hit toward the wall. You see the right fielder backpedaling. You don't recommend that because your head bounces around and you can fall, but still able to make the catch. And here's Benji Molina. He bounced out his last time. One out, nobody on. The pitch. Taps this one foul off to the left. Here it comes. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Yow. A little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. The 2-1 pitch. Strike Change two. up. Called strike two. They need more offense right now, Gary. I mean, you know, only leaving two runners on base. You know, we're moving through the middle part of this game, heading into the later part of the game. I mean, they need to give themselves some opportunities to score runs. Patience at the plate. Get somebody on. You're and Benji Molina misses for strike three. Well, check out the movement on this on KCAM. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. So he takes a cut on this one, trying to yank the chain. Comes up empty. Well, he thought he had that one dialed in. Pitch right down the middle of the plate. What shock it was when it hit the catcher's mitt and he didn't make contact. These are the swings that make hitters want to change bats. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the first pitch. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0. It's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. Here's the 1-0. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. That one falls in there for a base hit. 
Well, you know the pitcher was hoping to get that three up, three down inning. A little bit of a breather inning, but that single will extend this one a bit here. Snow at the plate. Took a called third strike in his last time up. A runner on first with two outs. And here's the first one. Ball. Fastball just misses. 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. There's a swing and a smash. And it's going to be Beltron. And that's out number three. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand. Still nobody on the board here at Compton Stadium. It's going to be Sweeney. And out on the mound, we'll see... Jared Weaver. He's been chosen to take over out there. First pitch fastball. Misses badly that time. 1-0. Oh. 1-0 now. That one swung on its line. That's one away. And it's Johnny Damon now. And with John Lackey leaving the Angels via free agency, they needed someone to step up and become the ace of the staff and the leader. And Jared Weaver has done that. A, still a young pitcher as far as years go in the major leagues. He has stepped up and taken over a leadership role for a young pitching staff. Here's the pitch. Put on the ground to Gloss. And it gets through two for two. Jared Weaver, sometimes you, you, you make a little change and it makes a world of difference. Not exactly a little change, but he added a two-seamer to his repertoire, and that is seemingly making a very big difference to him. I remember watching him in college, and I thought he's going to be an effective major league pitcher, but a sinker slider guy, you know, a lot of ground ball outs. The strikeout totals amazed me. He led the major leagues in strikeouts with 233. I didn't see that coming, getting a lot of swings and misses on that breaking pitch. Damon's a runner at first base. Weaver sets, throws, watches a curve in there for strike one. Strike Slider two. locked him up. He's behind 0-2. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball, to the outside corner. Paint the black. Get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Ball! Fastball is up high, and it's one and two. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. The one two on its way. Fastball that's well off the plate. Two and two. Taps this one foul to the right. Swung on, line softly behind second base. And through the middle, base hit. Kansas City gets a shot at it right now. So, our State Farm leaderboard to look at the teams who hit best with runners in scoring position last year. The Twins, number one. White Sox in second. Third spot, the Rangers. Fourth, the Red Sox. Number five, the Royals rounded out.
But the last thing you want to do is give up easy outs with runners in scoring position, and this team doesn't do that. One of the tops in baseball last year and hitting with those runners in scoring position, and they are a top-quality team, and they battle you and battle you, and if one guy doesn't get you, the next one will. And Molina calls for the pitch. There's one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs onto it. Well, he keeps the runners right where they are. So now he's just an out away from working his way out of danger and keeping this game tied. Gary, they know Damon can steal here. They better keep an eye on him. Here's Wilson's first look. On the ground to second. Throws to first side is retired. So no runs, two hits, and they strand two. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. Top of the lineup coming up. Cleanup man in the box again. He'll get things started off as we go to the sixth. And the first pitch. Slider just misses 1-0. and oh. Boy, good pitching, good defense. They're getting it done today. And obviously limiting this offense, keeping them off the board. Only three guys left on base the entire game. 1-0 on the way. Swings, hits this one in the air, down the right field line. And he makes the catch, one down. It's going to be Gritch. He flew out his last time up. Base is empty with one away. Here's the first pitch. First pitch, a changeup outside, 1 and 0. Here's the delivery. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. One one pitch. Fastball. That's going to be low. Two and one. Swung on. Hit in the air to right center. Wilson will field. Rome's over, puts it away. Vaughn into the batter's box. Last time up, flew out. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. Jackson, that's caught. Side is retired. Uh, Gary really brought his A game to this one, executing all of his pitches. Great command and control. They haven't been able to muster any offense against him so far in this game. Shutout baseball in Kansas City. Seitzer gets a turn here. He's going to lead off bottom half of the sixth inning. And the first pitch. That swung on, hit. Edmonds is going to play it. It's caught. It's going to be Brett. Grounded out last time. Nobody on base, one away. Now the first pitch. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Oh, it's a great fastball right there, down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Here's the 1-0 from Weaver. 0-1 pitch, circle change, swung out and missed, 1-1.
Here's the pitch. Gets in front, stopped it, it's in the dirt. Two one pitch. Oh, good discipline to lay off that pitch. And it's three and one. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to three and one and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. Strike two. Now the three two pitch. Fastball got him looking two down. But I tell you what, with this kind of fastball, you can make a living up in the zone. He runs it up and away. The hitter was thinking something else. And it's Carlos Beltran now. He's gone two for three lifetime off Jared Weaver. Two out, space is empty. A fresh count on Beltran. Here it comes. Watches that fastball that goes by him for a strike. Now, if you saw his last game, you got a chance to see that he swung the bat well in that one, picking up a couple of knocks. Weaver sets, throws. Strike two. Beltron taking the called strike. Now, Gary, the pitcher pulled the string on this one. It looks like a fastball, and then it just dies out as it gets to the plate. Good late movement. Oh! Slider misses, and it's one and two down. Watches that one go by, and the count is even. That curveball inside right there. Pretty good pitch, but if he leaves it over the plate, he's going to get hurt. Three Here's two. a curveball that bounces to the plate. Three two on the way. Lays off that one. Misses ball four. But well, you know the pitcher's really tired right now, and you have to think that his confidence is a little bit shaken. That long at bat right there, he had a chance to put the hitter away, and now he has to go from the stretch to try to keep this inning from getting out of hand. It's going to be Jackson now. Well, two outs in the inning, you don't want to give a free pass. Make them earn it. As long as you keep it in the ballpark, it doesn't hurt you, but that walk can come back to haunt you. Oh, and he takes off for second. Ball. And he is safe. Chest beating that throw. Weaver couldn't find the strike zone that time. And with the walk surrendered as it was in the inning, you got to keep your composure now and not give in here. Well, he certainly doesn't want to give up an extra base hit right now to allow that run to score, so the defense has got to be playing no doubles. Comes back with one in there at the knees, and it's 2-1. and one. Checks him at second. Come set. Swung on and ripped towards second. 
And he's out at first. What an out. Well, they can't push across any runs. They've been shut out through the first six. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. Big bats ready to make an appearance. Salmon is batting. He'll start things off here in the seventh. And the first pitch. Starts him out with a sinker for a strike. Tough to score with only three hits in a ball game, and we're, we're deep into this one right now, so unless something dramatically changes, he's just going to shut them down the rest of the way. He's been overpowering. Strike Swing and a miss, and he's behind on the count 0-2. Well, you know this is a very difficult pitch to hit because there's no way the hitter can put any good wood on this particular pitch. The problem is it's so tough for the pitcher to keep hitting that location consistently. That's why you only see this pitch every once in a while. Got him. Out number one here in the seventh inning. And you know he's looking ahead and feeling pretty good about it. And with good reason. He hasn't given up a run yet, and he's got to be gaining confidence. And Garrett Anderson up. 0 for 2 thus far. One out. Base is empty. Here's Anderson's first look. Paints the lower outside corner. Call strike one. That is a strike going to Garrett Anderson. He'll protect. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Now he's been having this lineup guess the entire game right now. He's out thinking them and out pitching them. He's continuing to be sharp the entire game. And Troy lost to bat. Flew out last time. Base is empty and two down. First one to Gloss starts as A.B. Ball. Fastball misses away. 1-0. Oh. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. That's one of those pitches you throw it out there and you hope the hitter chases it. He laid off, though. Now it's a battle. Here's the 1 0. 1 0 pitch. A sinker in there. 1 and 1. I threw that one exactly where he wanted it. Down and in. Strike two. That's cut on and missed. 1 and 2. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. Struck him out. And now that's seven. Count him seven shutout innings going. I think he's got the stuff to do it, Gary. I think he wants to finish the rest of this game. He's got the legs. And a frustrated lineup indeed. That's now seven shutout innings. The Angels still looking for a run. Looking to the lineup. Six, seven, eight hitters on their way to the plate. First pitch to him. Ball. And that's a ball. Weaver too far outside. Sweeney watches that one outside. Fastball called strike two and one. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball.
And Weaver sends the 2-1. And Sweeney will take that low. Well, anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Cut on and missed, and it's full. Full count pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. One away. Well, this ball's tattooed. It's flying off the bat, but the shortstop is right there to glove it for the out. One away as Johnny Damon gets set. Lifetime only 143 off Jared Weaver. Weaver sets, throws, up the middle, number 11. And so Damon retired. White at the plate, one for two in the ballgame. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch on the way. Hit hard on the ground to short. Number 11. Throws on to first, side is retired. And a 1-2-3 inning for Jared Weaver. And we'll see the Angels. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Sinker's in there. No balls and a strike. Now, Gary, it's tough to score when you only get three hits. We're deep into this ball game, and they have just not been able to mount any pressure against him today. Strike two. Strike two, and Molina will be careful here to protect. Molina, the ground ball. Brett. He's out. That's one down. A masterful performance out there today. They've not been able to get any sort of offense going. And I'll tell you what, he's going to make people notice this is an outstanding effort. And Edmonds settles in. He had a single in his last time up. Nobody on base, one away. On the way. Hit on the ground, up the middle. White. So Edmonds is down. Now as you get to this point in the game, you got to start wondering how much does he have left in the tank with the adrenaline pump and knowing he wants to come away with a shutout. Snow in the box now. He flew out his last time up. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the first pitch. A shot up the middle. That'll do it as they put that one away. You know, he's shutting him down like he is. It's awfully hard to think he's out of gas right now. You can't believe anybody in the bullpen can do better than what he's done here today. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. The rookie shortstop in. He's going to lead off the home half of the eighth. Shot back to first, and he's on. That's the go-ahead run. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. But you can't ask for a better way to start the inning. A leadoff double. Now big things can happen. It's going to be Wilson now. Grounded out his last time through.
No one out and a runner on second. Weaver sets, throws. Wilson, he takes that one. It's in there. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. Oh and one Weaver kicks deals. Ball. And it's taken outside by Wilson for a ball. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. And he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. Weaver throw on to first in time one away. Well, they advanced the runner, Gary, which is good, but it's not exactly the way you want to do it. When there's a runner on second, that bunt should go to the third baseman, not the first baseman. You want the third baseman to give up the bag and allow your runner to get in easily. And on third, one out. First pitch on the way. And it's 0-1. Weaver gets him looking. In order to throw that fastball away from the hitter, you have to get great extension out in front. Nice job of pitching. Towards the middle. Gets one. Over to third. Not in time. They weren't able to get that lead out. What a great snag right there to get the out. Tremendous athletic play. Both managers sitting on the edge of the bench right now, understanding this is a critical point in this game. Wearing the collar thus far. Two outs, a runner 90 feet from scoring at third. Well, you see something new in this game every day, Steve. They're going to intentionally put him on to face one of the best hitters in the game. Well, you've got to really question this strategy, Gary. I mean, I don't know why you do this unless perhaps maybe you saw something in the scouting report. They better hope it doesn't backfire. And here is Carlos Beltran. Runners at first and third with two away. The first count on Beltron. Here it comes. Oh. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. And they'll just have to sit on this one so everybody's safe. The 1-0 now. Swing and a miss. Beltron can't make contact. That'll even up the count. Oh, look at that big 12-6 breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch for any hitter to stay back on. Out in front, swinging early. The one and one. Liner between first and second. He's up with it. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the back. Good hustle off the mound. How many of these good innings does he have inning? We're finding out. Jared Weaver. And we'll see the angle. If you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. The first pitch. There's a swing and a hit. This one's to Beltron. One down. Well, what else can you say? He's done everything his team has asked of him in this one and then some. They're needing a little bit more from him. Get them back in the dugout with this game still tied so his offense can try to score a run. The fans are on the edge of their seats, Gary. So am I. One of the league's best players. This is right where you want him. Last inning, he has a chance to be the go-ahead. Uh, Gary, a bit of a stare-down between these two right here. Trying to get into each other's head a little bit. They know a home run changes the game. Well, working on the 0-1 count now. Well, he's dazzled them out on the mound here in this one. He's shut them down, keeping them off the board. Only three runners left on base, and they really haven't even challenged the defense. Here's the pitch. 0-1 is a sinker in there. Called strike. Uh, it's playing with fire. You're going to get burned if you leave pitches right there. You 
Wow. He got him. That is strike three, and we are still in a scoreless game, Steve. I tell you what, games like this, it's going to be a shame that either party is going to have to lose this one. They've been phenomenal. Let's see what the K-Cam looks like on a sinker ball. Vaughn into the batter's box. Last time up, flew out. Two outs, base is empty. First pitch. Ball. And he lays off one, low, 1-0. Oh. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there. But the hitter wouldn't chase it. Ah, oh, that one in the dirt. Good play by the catcher, kept it in front of him. There's a sinker for a strike, two and one. Uh, it's playing with fire. You're going to get burned if you leave pitches right there. Here's the delivery. That one's drilled to short. And that's the third out. That'll do it. I'm not sure he's going to come back out for more. He wants his team to try to get him a run right here. He's given everything he possibly could, shutting down the opponent. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. The five, six, seven hitters coming up. Well, fans are getting a late inning showdown right here, Gary. You got to get your hacks in here. This is the last half of the last inning, and you could be the winning run. Now, Gary, both guys feeling the intensity of the game right now, trying to look calm, but you know their hearts are racing. Swing liner back up the middle. And he's on the potential winning run. Get ready. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. Runner on first. Weaver sets, throws. Strike one. Strike one to Sweeney. In this matchup, lifetime, one for three off Weaver. Liner towards the hole. And that's going to be a base hit for Sweeney. With this big base hit, Gary, they have a chance now to win this ball game. The winning run on base. Now they need somebody else to step up right here and try to get it done. Here is Johnny Damon. Now the big opportunity for Kansas City. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. First pitch on the way to Damon. Strike. Well, maybe he needs a little vision clarity here. That one he went after, and it was clearly in the dirt. Strike. That is strike two. Jared Weaver now. He's dominating. But when you're a pitcher, the best thing you can have going for you is deception. And right there, you can tell he fooled him with that big 12-6 curveball down and away. Weaver sets, throws. You're out. Strike three, Johnny Damon gets caught looking. Well, it's a big first out right there, but he finds himself still in a jam, in a tie game. Going to be absolutely critical to be aggressive with the next hitter. White at the plate. We're trying again here, just one for three thus far.
Runners on first and second with one out. First pitch to him. And it's 0-1. Weaver gets him looking. Well, it looked like the hitter just gave up on this out of the pitcher's hand, but it's a curveball that comes right down the middle of the plate. Tried to get him to go after the slider, one and one. So if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. There's a swing and a miss at the fastball. It's one and two. Fastball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 two -two count. The pitch. Oh, and that's great. inside, and he's worked it to a full count. Trying to throw it in on the hitter's hands right here. Trying to get him to flinch and open up. He just laid off the pitch, didn't get the strike. White is settled. Here's the pitch. He swings, hits a ball to right field. Two down here in the end. Jackson heads for third. Well, that's a huge out right there. Now with two down, they've got a legitimate chance of getting out of this inning with the game still tied. Well, we're going to take a look here, see if they try to steal the runner from first base. Have some speed over there. We'll see if they try to get two in scoring position. And Weaver misses low that time. Takes a strike on that fastball. 1-1. One, one. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four-seamer. Catcher can't control it. Oh, my. Is he wild right now? That could be trouble. And they'll just have to sit on this one so everybody's safe. Now the 2-1. That's off the plate away, three and one. Well, this guy's really eating up some innings for this team. He's over the 60 pitch mark right now. And I tell you what, that's a lot of pitches for a middle relief pitcher. He set the 3-1. 3-1 a fastball, swung out and missed, full count. Well, climbing the ladder on him right there, he just throws that fastball right by him up in the zone. The 3-2 pitch. You're Fastball out. swung out and missed. And the sides retire. So Jared Weaver out of the inning. And we'll see the angle. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Krupp. That's a foul ball. Foul! Oh. He deals. Strike Swings on the 0-1 pitch. Can't hit it. Strike two. This pitcher being very aggressive throwing strikes. I think he's going to try to get him to chase. Go, Strikes him out. It looks like he's going to continue his performance here in this inning. Well, I'll tell you what, his infielders, his outfielders, take a little deep breath right there. Relax. He's getting them out himself. A 
Well, veteran RBI man Garrett Anderson up in a critical situation in this game. This is going to be a very nice showdown right here, Gary. Top half of this extra inning with a batter who could be the go-ahead and maybe the winning run. Now, this is going to be an all-out war right here, Gary. Both guys going to bring their best stuff. Swings. Oh, he got that one high in the air. Straight away center field. And he drops back to the warning track to pull it in. He's pitched an extraordinary game so far. He doesn't want to have any laps in concentration right now. No mistakes. Execute your pitches. Get your team back in the dugout and see if he can't find a way to win. Base is empty and two down. First one to Gloss starts as A.B. First pitch, a slider outside, 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. There's contact. He drove it well. And it's going to be Beltron. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Well, sooner or later, somebody's going to have their heart broken here. Both pitchers, an outstanding effort in this game. Somebody, unfortunately, is going to come out on the short end of this one. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. It's going to be Wilson now. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. First pitch on the way. And it's 0-1. Weaver gets him looking. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Strike Wilson, two. he takes that one. It's in there. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Well, a great job getting an 0 and 2. That third pitch, unhittable. Guess he figured why waste the pitch, save the arm. He did. Nice job. Here you live for moments like this. This is unbelievable. Bottom half of this extra inning, you want to win this right now, and he's got a chance to do it. Well, he's got to be feeling the pressure, no question about it. And all it takes is a big fly to end this game. So let's see if he pitches around him a little bit. One out, nobody on. Now the first pitch. Strike one! Pitch from Weaver, too high for a ball. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. Here's the pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch, fastball. That's going to be low, 2-1. for a ball and it's suddenly three and one well you've got to be careful right here look you're down in the count three and one you just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out this guy's too dangerous for that now the three one pitch swing and a hit it's going to be Edmonds that one's put away now two down As an athlete, you live for moments like this, Gary. Bottom half, extra inning, game on the line. Let's see what we get for a swing here. Boy, you played this long. It would be tough for either side to lose. Let's see how it plays out. Base is empty with two outs. Here's the first pitch. Ball! And that's a ball. Weaver too far outside.
Here's the 1-0. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And there we go, the winning run on base. Uh, you have two outs in the inning. Your job is to get on base any way you can. Now they have the go-ahead run on base. And here is Carlos Beltran. He's really looking to keep this going. There are, however, two down. Well, a gapper could be a game-winning base hit here, so look for the outfield to play nothing over their head. And that runner at first will be flying on contact. First count on Beltran. Here it comes. And that's the ball. Weaver too far outside. They went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. He's running, taking off for second. And it's not in time, and he beats the throw. the 1-1. One, one. Line shot into center field. And the end of the half inning as Edmonds makes the play. So they still can't light up the scoreboard. We'll just keep playing. Somebody's got to get up there. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Kansas City. Bottom three due up next. Now fans are on the edge of their seats wanting to see what Benji Molina is going to get done here. Top half of the inning here in extras, and here's a guy who could put this ball game away. Uh, Gary, the Molina, the ground ball. It gets through. Go ahead, run on base. Well, good piece of hitting right there, and anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. And Edmund settles in. When you're looking to try to get something going to manufacture runs, bringing in a guy who can run can be absolutely critical and beneficial. Higgins is running at first base. Here's Edmonds' first look. There's a swing and a line drive. It's one. And a two solo And that one's going to be a candidate for play of the week, Steve. Well, you talk about shifting momentum. You get the ground ball double play, and all of a sudden, you're back in the dugout ready to hit. Snow up now. Lined out in his last at bat. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And it's going to be Beltron. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Well, I'm not sure he's going to come back out for more. He wants his team to try to get him a run right here. He's given everything he possibly could, shutting down the opponent. And we've yet to see any offense here in Kansas City. Well, you want late inning fireworks, we've got it right here. Bottom half, extra inning. Potential go-ahead run standing at the plate. Now, Gary, both guys know a walk-off homer wins it. The fans oh, want it to end. And that's the ball. Weaver too far outside. We well, started the curveball away, and it broke further away just off the plate. Here's the 1-0. Gets that call at the knees, evens the count at one apiece. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. Oh. It's taken by Jackson inside. And Weaver sends the 2-1. We we'll pitch that time at the knees. 2-2. Two and two. Oh. 
That misses below the knees. That'll run us to the full 3-2 count. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. 3-2 on the way. Swings and grounds this one foul wide of third. Jackson, a ground ball. It gets through. The potential winning runs on board. Why, well, after all that effort, seeing all those pitches, you had a good feeling that the hitter was at the advantage, and he was right there, finally getting that big hit. Well, he, you would like to see him done it on the first pitch, get that base hit. But if it took a while, it doesn't matter if you're the hitter. As long as that base hit gets put in the column, he is rewarded, and he deserves it. It's going to be Sweeney, and he needs to move over that go-ahead run that's at first. He's got to do anything he can to advance this runner and get him into scoring position. They've got the outs to work with. It's going to be Sweeney. He's had one hit four times up. The runner on first, no out. Here's the first pitch. Slider just misses, one and all. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Here's the 1-0 from Rodriguez. 1-0 pitch, slider, runs outside, 2-0. That one's in the dirt, nice stop. Swinging for the downs on the 3-0. Comes up empty. Sweeney taking the call strike. A oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Full count pitch by Rodriguez. That swung on and flied to right. One away now. Here is Johnny Damon. He's batting with a possibility that winning run on first base could be his RBI. Now with one out, they have to be thinking double play. Give us a ground ball. Runner at first with one down. Here it comes. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. And that will skip over the outfield wall. Ground rule double. And we'll see in the replay, this one bounced over the wall. Well, really a break for the pitcher here, because I think he had a chance to stretch it into a triple. Now he has to stay at second base. But here you can really feel the pressure out there. Francisco Rodriguez, K-Rod's going to have to work his magic. He's going to need to come up big right here. With runners on at second and third and only one away in a tie game, you need big outs. Now this is why you play the game, Gary. These situations is where the stars thrive. Runners on second and third, one down. Here's the pitch to White. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1 and 1. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter.
line towards second. It gets down, and that's going to drive in Jackson. And they win a game-winning run as a throw. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. Well, it's that time again. How about we take a look at our player of the game? Well, you know, when you're facing a tough pitcher, it doesn't take long to realize that we're in for a tough day. And this team found out very early how tough this pitcher was going to be on them in this game. He's a top flight starter, but he had everything going and mowed down this lineup. And this sends a message to the rest of the league also that this guy is for real and ready to go. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter, and he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today, the good stuff and location to shut down the opponents. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Crockett and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.